First of all, uh, how populism can be a threat for, for human rights. First of all, I have to say that, uh, that I agree that there is uh, left-wing populism, but I, I think that we have to, to admit that the big issue nowadays and here in Europe especially, but in the, in the whole world, is right-wing uh, right -wing and nationalist uh, populism. Not only because it's the populism who is uh, growing, who is, uh, who is more and more bigger, but also because he is now uh, rising power. And, and that's uh, another, uh, a new dimension of the problem. When populism, and especially right-wing populism and neo-fascism uh, rise power, what, what is going to happen? I, I think that we are all very uh, expecting about what is going to happen uh, in, in Italy with, with interest, but with fear as well. Uh, what happened when, when populism is only uh, a movement? What, what, what is the effect uh, to human rights? I think that uh, I, I would like to link with something that, that Martin, the, the, the first panelist had said about uh, optimism and pessimism. Uh, human rights, the Human Rights Declaration was, was brought and, and approved in 1948 in a moment of optimism. Optimism because we, we the democracy and, and the, the, uh, I would like to say that the right side of the, of the history won the war uh, and we expect, we as, as a humanity, we, was, we, we were expecting a, a new, a new world with better values and, we, and, and, and a world that, that could progress for the, for the benefit of, of, of the majority, uh, for the benefit of, of everybody. So uh, this was a very hard moment because it was after the war, but it was a, a moment of optimism. And, and I agree that uh, right-wing populism um, works in the pessimism. And pessimism is against human rights. In which way? Because the, the, the speech of this right-wing populism, is, they don't say directly human rights are useless, we have to forget about it. They don't say it directly. But what they say is, well, maybe human rights are okay, but are not possible. Because human beings, humanity is not able to, to carry on with human rights. So for, for instance, we can, we can admit that sometimes a torture is not that bad, that can be used. We have to admit that maybe the, the right to, to asylum uh, is, not, is not realistic because we, can, we cannot give this right to asylum to, to everybody. So refugees cannot get in because we cannot, we cannot accept them. Uh, or for instance, uh, they they dub or they they question the first article of the of the human rights declaration that says that all human beings are equal in rights and dignity and in the end they say well they are not so equal there are people who maybe deserve more rights than than others maybe because they are men maybe because they are they both have uh, they were born in some countries maybe because they have uh, a certain religion or, or, or a certain color of the skin. So they promote this idea that uh, human rights are just uh, a, good, a nice tale, but not, uh, not a law that have to be implemented and have to be uh, ensured and, and, and guaranteed for everybody. And, 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 and the, second, the second problem that uh, we, we already don't, don't know what is going to happen is when, when this kind of, of partisan movements rise power, 
we have seen what happened in in the in the United States in Brazil, but we don't know yet what is going to happen in a country in Europe. Well, maybe well, it's not exactly we 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 saw what happened or we are seeing what happening what is happening in in Hungary and in Poland, uh, and what happening what is happening is that uh, they I think that learn from the left and they learn to be more passionate and they make uh, changes in the, in the democracy, in the society, more step by step, not in a radical way, like in the, in the 30s of the 20th century. But these this little changes in the society and in the democratic system are, are slow, but, but they are, uh, equal, they are uh, dangerous as well. And we have to be very aware of, of, of it because they are trying to, uh, uh, to change the, the rules of the, of the, of, of the, 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 the democracy in a way that uh, they can remain in power uh, almost forever. That's what they try. Uh, not, not, Lucky as they never, they, they don't never uh, get it. But but that what that they they try. They try to to uh, to break the separations of powers between uh, uh, parliament and the executive, the government and the judges as well, uh, etc. They try to limit the right to protest. They try to limit. Uh, the freedom of speech, but because when they are in the opposition, where they are in the street, they are they have the flag of the freedom of speech always very very high. But when they get to the government, they they uh, they quickly uh, hide this flag and they begin to put troubles to freedom of press, to put troubles on on freedom of speech, etc. So uh, so. There is, I think, these two dimensions. What happens when they are uh, in the opposition, where they don't have uh, institutional power, and what happens when they when they get it? And to to finish, in the both in both uh, uh, cases, what they try is to divide society and to put society in a in a kind of hierarchy. You know, put uh, somebody. Upon, uh, upon the others. Uh, so what we have to, to do to, to, to stop them is to unite, unite different people, uh, different groups, groups of, of people with interest and, and different conditions, put all together and, and find what, what unites us and and put it in, in, in value. And well, uh, as I said, we could be speaking for, for hours, but this is maybe what I, I was trying to, to explain. Thank you. Mm -hmm.